This is Dr. Janie Chang. I would like to welcome you to join Charles W. Lambdom School of Accountancy this fall, 2020. Now, I want to share the mission and vision of Charles W. Lambdom School of Accountancy with you. Our mission is to prepare accounting professionals to shape the global business environment. And our vision is to promote an educational environment that we will provide you the theoretical and practical knowledge in the field of accounting so that you have a great potential for a good future career. Our core values include integrity, technical competence, communication, and global diversity. Every single item here is very important. Please, Take some time to digest and think about it. Next, I will share our curriculum with you. We have three parts of the curriculum that you want to pay attention to. First, you have to take all the business core courses listed in the first column. And for accounting majors, we have several required courses that you must take, as you can see, in the center column. And you want to pay attention to the sequence of taking these courses that I will share with you in next slide. And we also offer several electives for you to consider taking. These are all very good and relevant courses to the accounting profession. As you can see here that accounting 331 Intermediate Accounting 1 is the prerequisite of all other accounting courses. That means you want to really pay attention and do well in this course. I believe most of you are taking this course in fall 2020. It is the core and also the foundational accounting course for you to get the best training. So do your very best to do well and get a good grade in Accounting 331. After Accounting 331, we recommend that you take Accounting 332, 333, and 334. However, sometimes we understand that uh, one of these courses may conflict with some other courses that you have to take. If that's the case, you want to probably take Accounting 333 and Accounting 334. Pay attention to the map here that Accounting 333 is the prerequisite of Accounting 431 Auditing and Accounting 432 Cost Management. Therefore, you do not want to delay taking Accounting 333 because it may affect your future progress. You want to remember that Accounting 390W is a concurrency with Accounting 431. We will hope that you can take Accounting 390W before taking Accounting 431. However, given the limited semesters that you have here, so you may have to take both in the same semester. Now I want to talk about the BMAC program. It is a four plus one BSBA degree with the MSA degree. The reason why we start this program is to make sure that you all have 150 units for the CP exam. In addition to that, research showed that BMAC students usually have the highest pass rate of the CP exam because the one additional year provides the advanced study as well as more time to prepare for the CP exam. I would hope that you will consider the BMAC program. Every semester we offer an information session. You will receive an email from me or from the BMAC director, Dr. Dabosky. I will hope that you listen to our uh, information session and consider this program. One item I would like to get your attention is that when you do our MSA program or actually in our more advanced accounting courses in the undergraduate program, we would like you to get a PC, not a Mac, because many tools and auditing um, applications are PC versions only.
Now I want to let you know that there is a major change in the CPA exam. It's called the CPA Evolution Project. It is by the AICP and NASPA. So it's the American Institute of CPAs and also the National Society of States CPAs. So because of the profession requires more knowledge and skills in technology, now the CPA exam starting January 2024 will have two exams instead of like one before. So the first one is a core exam, including four parts, accounting, auditing, tax, and technology. And the second part is an advanced exam. You only need to take one of them, not like the first core exam, you have to pass all four parts. So here we see you have tax compliance and planning, business reporting and analysis, or information systems and controls. You just need to take one of them as the advanced portion of the knowledge. After you pass the core exam and the advanced exam, you will have the CPA license once you get enough work experience. Given our current curriculum structure, that our BSBA program provides the training for you to take the core exam as you can see from the left column here. And our MSA program with the three tracks, we are actually mapping it to the advanced exam. This is also supporting the idea that you wanna consider the BMAC program. If you really want to pass the CP exam, the core exam and the advanced exam, this new model will start again, I want to remind you, in January 2024. Again, I want to welcome you to join the Charles W. Lambdom School of Accountancy. I wish you a very successful semester of fall 2020. I look forward to seeing you on campus sometime down the road. Have a great day.